Tomorrow will be yet another tough day for people living in isolation in long-term care facilities, but there is an easy way anyone can help. More than half the group homes in Minnesota currently have COVID outbreaks affecting residents and staff. Restrictions have tightened again, meaning in most places residents can't leave for Thanksgiving or have visitors. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield talked with one resident about what is helping him get through. Jim and Clara Hansen have a lot to be grateful for. The sweethearts raised their family in Grand Forks. Jim was a sports writer. I'm a poor Sid, Sid Hartman. And at 91, he's seen a lot, but COVID is a first. Basically, our lives have changed. They'll, they will never be the same. And Thanksgiving won't be the same either. For the first time, he won't be able to eat with the family. This is our granddaughter, Tori. Or finally meet the newest family member. Instead, they'll have a family conference call. We can visit with the grandkids and the great grandkids. and uh, It'll be fun. It'll be different and, and it'll be fun. I think it's it's what you make want to make of it. Like many facilities, Farmstead and other Presbyterian homes are on a no-visitor, no-leave lockdown. Just figuring out how to stay connected without that physical connection has been a challenge. But they've gotten creative with virtual events, an in-house channel for workouts, bingo, and church services. Now, if you have a senior in your life, maybe a family member, maybe a neighbor, an old teacher, just says the best thing you can do is give them a call. And the best way to keep seniors looking forward is to talk about the past. She says bring up memories with a call or a letter. Any connection at this point is, is just meaningful because isolation is a real thing and it's a killer as well. What does that mean to you and to fellow residents? The phone calls, the letters? Well, it means the world to us. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. The staff at Presbyterian Home says there is a major staffing shortage in the industry. The National Guard has been called in to help cover shifts at long-term care homes.